All right, thank you for staying with us. It's been over two months since the President Tinubu announced the removal of fuel subsidy. And since then, Nigerians have had to bear the brunt of high cost of transportation, food prices, amongst others. Now, President Tinubu has approved the establishment of the Presidential Compressed Natural Gas Initiative to ease the effect of the removal of by reducing energy costs. According to the Special Advisor to the President of Media and Publicity, Ajiri Ngelali, on behalf of Mr. President, the initiative which targets over 11,500 new CNG-enabled vehicles and 55,000 CNG conversion kits for existing PMS-dependent vehicles. This landmark initiative is also set to stimulate economic growth, create employment opportunities, and bolster the nation's automotive manufacturing capabilities. Well, joining us in the studio to discuss more on this newly approved initiative is the National Operations Controller, Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Ibman, Mike Sati. Good morning. Yeah, Thank good you morning. for joining us. Yeah, good morning, Nigerians. Now, let's begin with this initiative, how different it, it is from the previous uh, CNG plan that we had. You recall that there was a plan sometime that uh, there should be about 2,000 or so. Uh, see, that was like two years ago. And there was a plan in place for, for this matter of uh, CNG-enabled vehicles in the country. But that didn't seemingly see the light of day. And now we are returning to, to that plan, so to speak. I'm wondering what your impressions are of this decision by the government to push forward this uh, CNG conversion kits as well as um, enabled vehicles. Yeah, I, I mean, I think uh, this government is more serious now about uh, CNG uh, for vehicles. Yeah, uh, last two, three years, yes, there was a plan, but it, there was no action. But now the president has given a directive that this must be done. And I think uh, with the partnership of uh, MNPC and NIMCO to put about 35 uh, conversion centers and CNG stations nationwide, I think we should be. I mean, very good action is being taking place now. And uh, we have to also thank the president for that initiative, which will benefit Nigerians because it's cheaper. If you go to Ibafo there, in front of MFM, it's 200 per kg. Ibadan has opened also. Ibadan, CNG has opened Ibadan. Also, it's 230 per kg. So it's about one third of the cost of petrol. And it even covers more mileage than, than the petrol. So the real problem that we may have, which I know, is that um, the cost of the conversion. Mm. The government has to come in into that area because it's, it's quite expensive to convert. Uh, they, they can, there are so many areas they can do. <clears throat> I mean, government has to come in really in that area in assisting Nigerians. But the cost of conversion, depending on your vehicle, mm. we have uh, eight plug. I mean, how big your vehicle is, but you know, it, it has been done in uh, Indonesia and Bangladesh. That you, go, I mean, if a government can convert for us free and put the cost of the conversion on the on the CNG package, mm -hmm. like if the stroller now package, right. they can charge us two ten. So as you are refilling, as you are, as you are, me, you are refilling, you are paying, you back, are paying back the cost of that conversion. Right. That's the area that government has to look in. There's no two way about it mm -hmm. because. To convert a vehicle now, I mean, if it's a small vehicle, about 500,000. About what? Yeah, yeah, 500,000. 400. 400 yes, 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 that is true. Mm -hmm. I'm converting my own vehicle this week. It's going to buy about the big vehicle anyway. It, it's about 600,000. Right. But if you look at the overall, the young. Uh, Some benefits. The benefits, I mean, you can. You can maybe in a month, in a month, you can't spend more than 20 ton of, of, uh, of yeah. uh, gas. Quite interesting. I'm telling you. But to fill a vehicle now, you know what it's got. Mm -hmm. mm. But, but, but for CNG, 
I mean, it's a good initiative by President uh, Tinumbu. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nigeria should embrace it, and there should be more action from the NPC side mm -hmm. and government side. So, you know, we talk about um, diffusion of innovation. Um, you, you are an early adopter, so I will put it, because you're already working on, you know, converting, converting your, your vehicle. Your vehicle. Mm -hmm. But a lot of Nigerians are still feel like, they still feel like this is more like, you know, speaking Greek. What exactly is CNG? We've always known kerosene all our lives. We've always, always known um, petrol all our lives. Exactly what is this CNG? And the fact that, uh, how do you see that, you know, to ensure the accessibility and affordability? You've talked about the, the, the government should come in, adding maybe 10 naira. Nobody wants to hear about incrementing price <laughs> of anything because you are still battling with that of uh, petrol. So if you are telling us that this is something cheaper, but we'll still be adding some little amount of money, nothing goes up in Nigeria and expect that it comes down. You know, what I'm, what I'm saying is not, is not what you are saying. Mm. If you don't have money to, to convert and somebody is paying for you, right, mm. then you have to pay back. So, right, you are, you are paying back the cost of the conversion. You can't get your vehicle converted free. And if the if government will give you the grace to do it for you free, then you have to pay back. Mm. Mm. And, but to make it very simple, as you are refilling, maybe once in two weeks or once in 10 days, you are paying back that conversion cost. That's easy because, you know, in Nigeria, nobody can put out that kind of money now. <laughs> but they are, they are, we, are, we, are, we have to work it out. Hmm. How do we work it out? Is okay. We can say, you know, they are putting a conversion center in all the states now, right? You know, it's going to be okay. gradual, yeah. right? But I think the best thing is for people to go on CNG. Come, President Trump, guys, it's clean now. In fact, you, know, in fact, you will serve your car twice in a year. Because there's no, there's, there's less carbon. Right. Well, yes, well, there's no less carbon if you're using CNG. So you don't need to be serving your car every, every month. Or, so, <clears throat> so government has to really come in, in the area of conversion cost. And you know that we have gas in this country. Mm. Yes, we yes. We are number one in Africa. Mm. Number one reserve. Yes. We are number nine in the whole world, right? So, we, so the, the question of importance on the issue is right here on ground. Mm. So, and it's cheaper, very cheap. If you are talking to a meter and a per per kg, and it will cover more than six hundred, uh, we are buying petrol. Then why should we are wasting our time? Mm. Right. So, so it's a good in, 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 I mean, initiative by, by the president. That he has flagged it off, and he has mandated an NPC that do this. Do, uh, I mean, we are there, they, they, I mean, they have to action CNG. Mm. Well, why is the conversion so expensive, though? Is, I mean, how much are you buying the dollar? If you know what I'm talking so about. So those materials will have to be yeah, imported. They, yeah, to be imported. imported. The skis have to be imported, and it's a dollarized uh, market. So we have no choice than to, to key in. And, uh, but at the same time, it pay off. Mm. It pay off. Right? If you are trading your, your vehicle, right, with about 10,000 10, or 8,000 mm. right, Com compared with 30,000 or 35,000, you know the meaning. Mm. I, mean, I, mean, I mean, if I'm sure you must have explained how much you are trading your of vehicle. Course. Of, <laughs> so, of course. Of right. course. Anyway. Now, the, the other matter, sorry to, to come, no, 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 is, is the matter of investors coming in. Uh, there's been talks about incentivizing investors to invent in, invest rather in the CNG processing, distribution, and utilization and partnership. Now, when we are talking about incentivizing um, investors, what do you expect from perhaps government? How, what should be the framework for incentivizing them? And well, there can be, well, if a government, they have all it takes to attract investors. Mm. You can give them thousands a day. You can give them so many incentives to make it attractive, right? Like what? Like, I mean, like soft to do, I mean, to the investors. So that this CNG can be everywhere for the country. And um, the facilities are on ground. Like Ibman, the members, Stations are open, 
right? Like if you would feel your cylinder, I mean, mm. cooking gas. Yeah. I, I mean, our stations are open for government to, to key in so that people can just drive in and, uh, and fill up your, I mean, your vehicle. So we have infrastructures already on ground, stations. Mm. Both Man Station, Maman Station, and I mean, okay, talk, they just to install the, uh -huh. the. Yeah, they can install it. Mm -hmm. or they, I mean, the, the skills there. So mm. we have the facilities on ground already. And you know that Ipman, we have our stations everywhere in the in Nigeria, both Hamlet, villages, uh, and cities, and other things. So government just have to give a support, right, by giving too many incentives to the investors, and uh, we are good to go. No, that was why I wanted you to perhaps itemize some of these incentives that you feel is necessary and will help these investors Money. better. Money. Money. Loan. Loan. Yeah, you, you can't, you can't do anything. What about the enabling environment? <laughs> you can't. Yeah. Enabling environment? It's necessary to thrive. No, no it, 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 we already got the, 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 the infrastructure on grant. The stations are there. So we need now to deploy money Right? To so people that want to invest, soft loan, 9%, maybe, but you are aware. So, I mean, so we want to give them incentives now of soft loan with a very long term of payment, maybe four or five years, then we are good to go. We are talking about money because um, we, we know that is as a result of lack of fund, that's the reason why a fair subsidy is also, you know, also removed. So are you saying that this money that would otherwise go to, <laughs> would have gone to fair subsidy, um, you know, uh, fair subsidy payment should now be used for, as a loan for these maybe private investors who will be coming into the country? Because there's st there still money that the government needs to do a lot of things. Talk about the road infrastructure, mm -hmm. uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you know, you cannot eat or kick and have it. Absolutely. Right? If we, have, we are saving uh, trillions now every month on subsidy, in which we have to we have to thank the government for taking that good step, right? That um, on the subsidy mover, but at the same time they are now creating an option for Nigerians in terms of this CNG. And they still have to spend money. It, it, no, you can you can't do that without you have to invest. You, have, you know, it's, it, it's, it's a long time a benefit, right? I mean, uh, maybe for Nigeria, so you have, you have to invest. But, but the point is that the money we have been wasting for years on this subsidy is now coming now to the government to use for Nigerians in terms of infrastructure, as you have said, roads, medical, and what, and, what, and what have you. So if government is, this is an area that has been, that has been abandoned for, for decades. Mm -hmm. This gas. In fact, we're not supposed to be talking about gas now. It's supposed to have been done. Over, it's over, yeah, no, there you go. So, but if um, President Nubu now, in his wisdom, now say, okay, let me save money here and invest here for benefit of Nigerians, no, we know we have this gas. Mm -hmm. We are flooding it every day. Yes. But now we want to use it now for Nigerians. So I think it's a good, in, I mean, it's a good in, I mean, in the children, it's a, it's a long term benefit. For Nigeria. If you cover your vehicle now, you won't, do, you won't do it again tomorrow. Right? And it's a revolving situation. Right? In fact, there was a time about two years ago that government, about, 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 I think about four years ago, the government wanted to compare that any vehicle coming to Nigeria must be, must have been converted mm. for, or I was it before you can clear it in the port. Mm. It's, it's dual. You just put petrol and uh, this and uh, CNG. CNG. Okay. So if you go, if if we make also be that one in place too, mm. that any vehicle that is coming to Nigeria must be CNG compliance. Mm. You can't clear it. So it will now remove the cost of this conversion we are talking about. Mm. Yes, it's doable. Right. It's, so, it, I mean, so why, it's doable. Do we, why do we have to say any vehicle coming? Why don't we talk about? Our own production. You know, own, yeah, exactly. Why don't Producing you talk about it? No, the one, the one that is, we produce, uh, yeah. I mean, no, the one that is already here needs to be converted. Mm. But to remove all this commercial cost, 
and the new vehicle come in. What he's saying is, why are we not looking at producing whatever it is needed to make this conversion easy so that it's affordable for Nigerians producing it in Nigeria? I mean, the government can do it. Right. If, if, I mean, he's, 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 I mean, he's, he's doable. Right? If the government also want to invest on that, it's doable. Right? You can do it. So there's nothing, nothing wrong about that. That product to be produ I mean, producing in Nigeria here yeah, is to create jobs mm -hmm. and make life easier. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we have, we have to do with what we have mm -hmm. at now. Right? right. So, okay. so um, but then there are also um, matters of concerns. We recall how we've had issues with gas accidents yeah. and all of it. Now we'll be having this on the roads, and we know the number of accidents we've recorded in this part of the world. In, in a year, we've had a number of accidents. Um, I'm wondering where your concern is uh, with regards to uh, people you know, managing themselves and ensuring that they, they do not you know, have, we do not rec have these uh, reoccurring accidents on the roads, with regards to this conversion of uh, vehicles to CNGs, do you have concerns in that area? How the orientation of people with how to manage their driving now that they'll be using gas? We know how the accidents could be dangerous. Yeah, the, 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 the best thing is for people to ensure that they comply with safety measures, right? Even with petrol, we also have accidents. Right, so with gas too, there will be accident. That's, that 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 that's what is not. It's it's avoidable if we are very careful and we comply with our safety measures. But people have to be orientated and lectured and to thought that okay, don't do A B C when you are having this. You you can imagine people if if if, if you have uh, cylinder gas in there in your vehicle and you are smoking, you can, you can that that is deliberate. Act. Mm. So people have to comply with don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. So to minimize the risk and the accidents. Mm. But at the same time, you cannot 100% uh, say there won't be accident. But it has to be minimized and Nigerian also must comply with the safety rules mm. in use of gas. I, 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 I understand that, um, you know, because now if you go to uh, some some remote areas they've not even accepted they've not adopted yes. um, gas you know L okay. LPG you know for yeah. cooking they will say you know they are comfortable with their firewood they are comfortable with their kerosene uh, so I also heard some experts talking about this CNG saying that the cylinder is bulletproof and uh, it cannot be penetrated by bullets I don't know how um, you know the veracity of that claim but if people find you know with the way you said it now. Um, you were careful in talking about it, and we are still talking about people adopting it. Mm. So this is a challenge. So how does the key? How does this key into the uh, infrastructure and transportation systems in a way that it would definitely help the Nigerian economy, you know, on a larger scale? We are talking of cost. Cost. Mm. You cannot be uh, cooking with kerosene that costs a boiler per liter. Compare with CNG or APG of two and a half. So that cost, that 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 difference is enormous. System because it will force people to comply because you cannot even be, in remote areas. I mean, but of cost, cost. It's an hour per kg of kerosene compared with two and a half of, of CNG or APG. You can you can't say because you're in a remote area and be blame money. It's not possible. Even, even I, as I am, you know, I have to do CNG because that cost, the, the, the difference is much. If I tell you, if, if, if you are using a bigger vehicle, right? I mean, it's in that vehicle, you know, how, how it consumes fuel. So Nigerians gradually will comply with using LPG or CNG because of the difference here in the cost. And, you know, when you are now servicing your car twice in a year with CNG, would you prefer that one? You save so many costs. In, fact, in my house, I even use gas for my, my, my generator now. 
Really? Yeah, I was yes. So, I used, yeah, I, I used, I used regards to my, I mean, my stations. I've, I, I did it about a month ago because, I mean, it's safer, it's cheaper. The motivation right? is because it's cheaper, so you don't want to be spending, cost, yes. cost, be spending cost. much more. I know, you know, you know, you know if you are using, and then if you are using gas, you know, your boys, can, your staff cannot cheat you, you know. Me. Really? Yes. This, this man because, is really business minded. So because because you, they can't see, they can't. How so? Perhaps you need to explain it to those who are listening to understand. No, I'm telling you that you know, if you ask your boy, or your staff to go and say 20, 20 it has they can say fifteen and say it's twenty. Mm. But for for gas, you know, they can. And gas has to be compressed. It has yeah. to be somewhere. It's not uh -huh. something you can pour in. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. take this in uh, yeah. gallon and then you. So, it has to be it, in a. So many benefits are in this gas issue yeah. and for federal government to have key in into this gas operation is going to reduce cost mm -hmm. but I've been Nigerians but it, it, it takes some time but at the same time I am mm -hmm. trying Nigerians to to embrace key in and to embrace it mm -hmm. for their benefits. So so the private the private sector are you also you know advising them to to come into it because she talked about you know investment opportunity yeah. for people who do that. So if the private investors are coming in, we also talked about the enabling environment to be able to do that. Uh, is it going to be you know tax, uh, you know the the taxing on it? Will it be something that will be minimal or something that will be that will be much? How would you speak to this? And well, that one is in the head of, of the government. But I, I believe that the government uh, that has shown interest in this uh, gas initiative. We also provide a very enabling environment for the for the investors because uh, this is a green it's a, it's a green area. Mm. It's a new area. Sustainable. Uh, yeah, sustainable and uh, and the uh, and the, the cost is very large, very big for new investors. Mm. And again, you know that we have the population to drive the market. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, we have that advantage of a population. Mm. Right? We have, we have, to anybody who is investing in gas it's now, it's, it's, I know, in fact, Nipko has done this thing for about 13 years in Benin. Mm. And maybe 40% of vehicles in Benin are on gas, mm. on CNG. Even in Ghana. Yes, Ghana has done that one for, for, for a long time. Days, but yeah. I don't know, but thank God that we even have government that want to drive it now. Mm. Yes. Does it really key into the climate change, you know, of the thing? Mm. Saying that yes. you know, global warming and, and all of that. That's the matter of sustainable uh, transportation. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, you know, CNG is minimal carbon. The carbon emission is very minimal. So it's even environmental friendly. No pollution, nothing. Mm. Very, very minimal. Very minimal. Even I think about one percent. Right. So in terms of environmental friendly, super, mm. no pollution, and even, in fact, if you try it, right, you will enjoy it. Gas. I mean, I don't know what happened to us in Nigeria that we abandoned this gas for over six decades. I don't know, but we thank God that uh, this government has come now to rescue Nigerians. Mm. So, on the whole, how comprehensive would you say this uh, presidential plan is? Let me say something to Nigerians. Quickly. Quickly. Uh, President Nubu has done the best for us to have flag off this CNG and gas revolution. I will call it a revolution because he has given them the mandate that we have to go on gas now. So Nigerians should expect the benefit and they should expect the best I mean, from the country because we don't need to import uh, gas. We have it here abundant. So uh, we should embrace it and we should key in into whatever uh, I, mean, uh, I mean, we have, have said about this gas. And it's hopefully going to you know, help uh, right. some job creation for, for the, the end of the day. If yeah. people who are going to be converting yeah. his job, people who are going to be, I mean, if I, there are so many jobs in this, in this area. Right. Yes. We have to leave the conversation here now. We must uh, thank you. Mike Osatuyi, National Operations Controller, Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, for your time on the program. Thank you.